Immorality begins in a son who does not come home after college. He doesn't have the rearing and the teaching of his father within him. He doesn't have the honor of a military man by him. He doesn't have the rebuke and the rebuttal of an older man of wisdom and seasoning about the world. And he goes off and he produces a perverse relationship with a girl. His perversity is known across his network, but he doesn't want to think that people dislike him. But what if his whole entire networking group dislikes him? But what if they're tired of his arrogance? What if they're tired of his play? But what if they're tired of the fact that he is illegal today? Illegal today is something that's becoming sort of an attitude. The other day I watched, allegedly, a Dollar Tree manager chasing a young black set of girls out of the store because they were stealing. And those young girls just taunted back to that manager. Meanwhile, a black man got out of a vehicle, came over to the store, and insisted on paying for those girls who had stolen something. She allowed them to come in the store and pay for them, I presume, because that's what it looked like. Or maybe she realized her risk to her for her stupidity of doing that on her own. Now, there was a white guest in the store who was apparently going out there to find out where they were going and what their license plate was and if she had just allowed that to occur they might have caught them but maybe they did who's to say the reality is that we have people today and it happens regularly who feel entitled to steal and it's interesting who they are there are demographical data pieces of information that show that by far and yet the entitlement thinking never stops why does that happen? Why do people think they have the right to steal from you and me? 